have to be a Filipina. Everywhere I go, I always tell people that I'm from the Philippines. And usually they'd say, but you're white. You're not, you don't look like a Filipina. And for me, that's the that's the point of being proud of being a Filipina. You show that Filipinas are diverse. Like here, we are not just one color. We Filipinas are diverse and beautiful and talented and skillful. And with regards to the plan to join the Philippine Police Academy, that, that feels like forever ago, Kuya Eton. I, <laughs> I was 18 when I wanted to join the Philippine Police Academy, but of course my family didn't want me to. And competition. It, it's, it's unbelievable, really. Um, you really see the Bayanihan spirit of the Filipinos, and you see the power of the pageant powerhouse that is Philippines. You, we, we saw, I was the third batch that they put the photos for, for the voting, and yet we, we were number one at one point, and it just shows how Filipinos really support our beauty queens and how much we love pageants and how much we're willing to work to, for us to get the first Miss Cosmo crown. As early as now, but do you, are you feeling some sort of pressure to live up to everyone's expectations? I think I've given that up. I, I think during my previous competition, I had in my head a lot to live up to people's expectations. But you know what? Now I. I'm confident that I can be flawed, and if people love me, they'll still love me even then. At least as of the moment, um, rank to tie sa people's choice. So, your message to our fellow Filipinos para mag rank one tayo for the top 10 finalists. First, thank you very much. I know that it takes effort and time to vote, and I really appreciate it. And we know that Miss Cosmo pageant is a new pageant and they really care about our reach. They care about the impact that we can make. And if all of us Filipinos, we can work hard, we can work together to show them the impact of the Philippines, I think it will not go unnoticed and it will help us in buying the crown for the Miss Cosmo International. Well, I mean, can you share a little bit? Well, of course, I can't achieve this without the help of my stylist, Patty Yap. She's around here, the gorgeous woman sure. you'll see around. <laughs> and Albert Kurniawa, they are usually the ones who show me the best look that I can achieve. And I just listen to them because they're the experts. So the criteria for Miss Cosmo, I was reading, I don't know if it's true. Of course, beauty, evening gown, swimsuit, talent, Q&A. Is that true? Talent? Uh oh Oh wait, I'll practice. <laughs> 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 yeah. But um, in terms of making impact, because you said that that's really what they want for the queens to have a reach, what kind of impact do you want to have and in what what realm? Like in what uh, aspect of life or community? Um, for me, growing up with very limited opportunities, I was a self-taught entrepreneur, so I know the value of early education for young people and for them to be able to achieve their dreams. So I am working with Alan Academy, I am partnered with them, where we give them the tools to be able to reach their dreams and to create the life they want for themselves. We teach them um, global citizenship, we teach them financial literacy, all the skills that you need to survive in the new past space world that we live in today, that's the impact I want to make. I want to change the educational landscape of the Philippines. I know it's a big dream, but it's a dream worth pursuing. What kind of, what, how are you going to prepare? Like, what do you think you need to show talaga to, to prove that you're worthy of being the first Miss Cosmo? What do you think? I think I'll just do my best. And I know that they are looking for a woman who can make an impact. And I hope that they deem me to be one and worthy of the first crown. And But I'll be myself. I know it's so cliche, everyone says that. But I really believe that if people will like you, they will like you even for your flaws. Last night, we love you, of course. <laughs> no, we love you, of course. But like, in the world, like in the international scene, what is most to love about a me, I will laugh at your jokes. Even though it's not funny, I will laugh at your jokes. So that makes me likable, I think. <laughs> Congratulations in advance, Atisa. Thanks, Mark's friends.
Ito yung hindi natanong kasi ni Uya. Ano siya siya rin ang tatanong nito? So, ilabas na lahat ng mga cellphone. Ah! Yeah. Oh my God! Tisa Tisa Manalo, why should you be our next Miss Cosmo International? I think I should be the first Miss Cosmo International because I want to be a trailblazer. I want to set the tone of what it takes to be a Miss Cosmo. And I want to set the tone of what it takes for this pageant in the future. And I want to be a pioneer. I want to be the leader. I want to be a part of the pioneering organization that is Miss Cosmo in achieving, changing the landscape of pageantry forever. Um, how would you convince the pageant fans to support Cosmo pageant as well as the other pageants? We should support Miss Cosmo International because we might make history as the first winner from the Philippines. And, you know, Miss Cosmo International has vision that no other pageants have. And this is to change the landscape of the pageantry forever. They want a beauty queen that just makes impact. Not someone who is just beautiful, but someone who actually makes change in their communities. And I think just for that, it is enough that we support that because that is a great cause. This question during the Miss Philippines press conference. And then, um, your question ko medyo parang babalikan mo kasi parang wala ka pa atang narealize or answer doon sa question ko. So, my question is, <laughs> oh, oh, sabi ko pala kita mami eh, answer sa question ko. So, and then question ko, what was your um, most recent realization about yourself? That I'm too hard on myself. Ah! <laughs> I, I think it is a common thing that a lot of us experience. And I realize that sometimes we're doing our best. And even if it's not 100%, that's enough most of the days. The, not every day is your best day, but it doesn't need to be a bad day because you weren't able to do your best. Join me. And then sabi ko, ano ba itong ano? Sabi ng mga fans, ano ba itong Miss Cosmo? Sana Miss Supernational ng mga ganyan, ganyan. Pero ngayon, grabe yung clamor for you, for the for Miss Cosmo. So, ano yung take mo ngayon na parang ang ganda nung, um, ang tawag mo ito? Acceptance. Ng acceptance, ang ganda nung transition for you na, kasi ang sabi, ay naku, Miss Party from, what did you do for work? To, to gain in your journey in Vietnam. To me, being able to experience Vietnam as a VIP guest of the whole government of Vietnam is what I'm looking forward to. In the past, when I did Miss International, it was the best experience of traveling I had. It was because we were taken care of properly, and I know that it's gonna be like that in Miss Cosmo with the limited four days that I went there the first time. I know that they're gonna take care of us and I'm very excited to see the whole of Vietnam. It's gonna be a travel like no other. We're gonna be there for three weeks and I know it's just gonna be a great experience where I can learn more about myself, grow professionally and personally. Wow. Wow. of one to 10, one being the lowest and 10 being the highest, um, how would you rate your physical and mental preparedness competing in the Miss Cosmo pageant and why do you choose to rate yourself that rating? It's a 10. I prepared for it. Yes. I made sure yeah. that there is no stones left unturned and with that it's just an easy 10. Wow. Yes. I meet all of your fans watching you right now. Xin Chao, thank you so much for everyone who is watching me from Vietnam. I am very excited to come back and see you again your beautiful country and eat your delicious food and meet the beautiful people of Vietnam. Thank you, and you are already making us proud. So thank you. Remarkable, especially the pageant fans. So ngayon, may aabangan pa ba kami? Trained by Ian Mendehar, the one and only. Of course, you should watch out for my passerella. I think that's one of the things I always prepare for, and that's the that's one of the segments where I really feel like myself. So yeah, you should watch out for that. Um. <laughs> ano na, ano na yung Cosmo Walk. Cosmo Walk. Cosmo Walk. <laughs> Congratulations again. Like a Greek talaga. Wala pa talaga. Atisa Manalo, Philippines! <laughs> Maria Atiso Manalo, Miss Cosmo Philippines! Ay!